and a wave hit me and it flipped me back towards the beach. And I just thought, it's over. This guy's under. And all of a sudden, there was just this another knock at the door. There we go. Ooh. You all right? Stay with this, you all right? A lady presented herself with pain in the abdominal area. I had quite pain here out of 10. Nine. Nine. Can you call an ambulance, Jeff? Nine out of 10 warrants a trip to hospital. She needs advanced medical care. But Harry's has a sinking feeling about something in the water. I look out into the water and I see a guy under. This guy's like 60 to 70 metres out the back and I, I really thought this was going to be a fatality. Controlling a nine-foot rescue board in pounding surf takes years of experience. Oh, Dad, he's in a lot of trouble. I was thinking of running the defib down to the shore because I thought this guy's got no chance. Each wave costs Harry's precious time. Hey. I have my heart beats at about 200 right now. And a wave hit me and it flipped me back towards the beach. And I just thought, it's over. This guy's under. Oh, mate, that rip's so hectic. Then I just see the top of his head. Hey. I don't know how he didn't go under. He copped about six waves on the head. He'd taken on a lot, and G was happy to see me. A critical rescue and a woman in the tower with abdominal pain. But trouble often comes to the lifeguards in threes. And all of a sudden, there was just this another knock at the door. She came in the door and she was crying. She was saying, I'm sorry. And I was like, what's going on here? Down here, so, uh, 21-year-old um, like Victoria is a student from Norway. Her severe peanut allergy causes anaphylaxis. Okay. And have you had an allergic reaction before? Yeah. Is this so what you I felt like? feeling, yeah. Left untreated, Victoria's throat will become so swollen she may be unable to breathe. The worst case of anaphylaxis is you stop breathing and you die. Could you just wait a little bit and get some water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lifeguard's best chance of saving Victoria is via a shot of adrenaline from an EpiPen. I've never jabbed some with an EpiPen. Right, do you want to hold my hand? Just hold my hand. Yeah. Right, there we go. When I had it in my hand, I'll admit I was shaking. I was like... Well, I only had a little bit, all right? You ready? Sure. Right here or here? All right, ready? That's it, deep breaths. That's it. Breathe through it, you're That's good. That's it, good. So I hit her with the EpiPen, bang, held it in for 10 seconds, and um, I thought that was gonna be it. She's gonna come good, and she didn't. Okay, so just come around on the side, we'll just lift her up, and we're gonna lay her down on the ground. There we go. Okay, lay down, sweetheart. There we go. Ooh, you all right? Stay with this, you all right? When she dropped on us, I was so scared. And I thought maybe this would be a recess. Get her on the side. That's it, just roll her over onto the side. There you go. You're all right, oh. This situation That's takes it. Harry's and Jethro out of their depth. I was so scared because I knew how severe her allergy to peanuts was. Can you hear me? I was seriously scared for her life. Jake? Yeah? Do you want to ring the ambo and update it? An what? ambulance has already been called, but it's for a woman on the first aid bed suffering severe abdominal pain. To make it more urgent. Because they were coming for stomach pain, but now they're coming for this. They're just dropping like flies. That's it, you're right, sweetheart. Oh. Victoria is barely that's breathing. It. Lifeguards must artificially respirate her using the Oxyviva. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, back back. Yeah. When she went unconscious, I kind of thought she'd been through adrenaline. Now she's in shock. Can you hear me? Uh, we put her on oxygen, breathe her up a little bit. What's your name? Hey, Victoria. Gets oxygen now. Slowly and slowly, she got better and, and came to, and that was, that was a big weight off our chest. In just 60 minutes, Harry's and Jethro have dealt with three major incidents. There's just a chick with pain in the chest. Can you get off of these? I'm back to you. Yeah. <laughs>
For the first time when I was in the tower on my own, I was sort of in a bit of shock at the start. I was heaps nervous. This whole beach is pretty much on my head right now. So if anything happens, it's coming to me. Ambulance, please. Uh, so there's an older lady with chest pains up in the car park. We've got some paramedics coming to check you out. In the tower, Chase must be the field marshal, directing troops and resources. But every distraction limits his focus on the water. Well, that's pretty much the golden rule of, of the lifeguards, is watching the water permanently. If you are left up there, it's, it's a big task and a big ask. And obviously, being my first time on a busy day, the boys relied on me. We have a lost child. Bondi is central to boys on the beach. We have a missing two-year-old child. The lost kid isn't the only distraction. That's a really funny thing to do, but it is like trying to put it on we're about so, yeah. he's just, where is he? Yeah, probably. Where is he? Somewhere over there. He's yeah, just, he's really drunk, he's swaying the river. Okay. Anyway, they, they told me to call the cops, but... Yeah, I'll get, I'll just get someone down? to come up. I'll, I'll stay here, but I'll get someone on the beach yeah. to come walk up. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Responding to Chase's call, Troy investigates. Hi, Sally. I'm just calling regarding an incident down at Bondi. Yeah. 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 There's a drunken man who's been causing a bit of a ruckus on the beach, punching people. I was really overwhelmed, it was getting heated. I was trying to call the ambulance, trying to call the cops, trying to call all the boys on the beach for the lost child, as well as trying to watch the water as well, which is the main priority. Amidst the chaos, the water remains Chase's highest priority. Just as I was thinking what else could happen down at Bondi Beach, I just saw this one guy going real quick. He hadn't even swum a stroke yet. Only a matter of seconds before I knew he was gone. Central to Mario. Yeah, guys. Look, what's it look like down there? From up here, he hasn't really moved much. Struggling a bit. Yeah, keep going, mate. Swim towards your left. Towards your left, left. But he's just knackered, so he's given up. There's a surfer trying to hold him up now. Yeah, Mario, go. He doesn't look good at all. With everything going on at that same time, I was just stoked. I, I didn't really like wipe my smile off my face for ages. You know, no one drowns on the beach, no one drowns in the car park, but in the water, if our observation isn't on point, that's where it happens. And, you know, Chase to maintain focus with all the outside distractions and people wanting that tower. And regardless that he's a rookie, he's a captain of the ship and he needs to direct the sailors.